Hello, this is Commander Lucosa. So yes, it's another of my Elite Dangerous videos. How wonderful. Um, I'm doing this while recovering from uh, several shocks. Um, firstly, by far the major shock is that uh, Frontier Developments have recently announced that they are actually going to keep their word on something. Namely, that there will be no reset when the game is launched. So those of us who are grinding away during the Gamma uh, phase are not doing it all for nothing. I'm quite stunned by that, to be honest. Um, the second shock is that... Uh, just for the hell of it, I thought I would check to see if I could actually sell my uh, uh, scanned uh, data from, you know, those two systems that I scanned that I mentioned in the, in the last video. And amazingly, they appeared, so I was able to do that. And thirdly, this is the one that will probably surprise the most people. we head to my statistics and we look at combat I actually blew up a ship in the gamma phase my first one and got 4850 uh, credits uh, bounty uh, in the process uh, it was a viper just some lone pirate and it completely slipped my mind the risk I was taking because when I was fighting him I had uh, my cargo hold which is 94 tons was full of superconductors so if I'd been destroyed I was really in the shit thankfully I wasn't destroyed I did take some damage I was taken down to 96% 96, 95, something like that. It still cost me uh, six and a half grand in repairs. It also cost me over 750 credits in rearming because he was launching countless fucking torpedoes or missiles or whatever at me. Uh, so clearly he wasn't able to see what kind of uh, defences I have because I've got both point defence and ECM fitted so missiles and torpedoes are pretty much useless against me and um, yeah I was pleasantly surprised there we go I actually uh, blew up a ship combat rank is still harmless something tells me that uh, you know you are going to need to destroy more than one ship to improve your rank uh, trade rank though has gone up to merchant. Trade rank is probably the least important of all the ranks. All trade rank means is that you can grind away doing endless uh, uh, trade routes without getting bored. Actually, that's not strictly true. I do get bored doing these endless trade routes. I get bored fucking shitless with them. But, uh, you know, they are proving to be rather handy. Uh, my explorer rank is still mostly aimless because I haven't actually gone anywhere. I'm still doing the same trade runs that I did in the last video. Occasionally making very slight uh, uh, changes going to one other system. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty much still doing the same thing as I was in the last one. But it is paying off. If we scroll down here, we'll see my trading stats are not too bad. Market network is 10. I've realised that that just means that's the number of market uh, you know, commodities boards you've checked out. So I've already checked out 10 of them. Well, I think actually it's the number you bought and or sold uh, commodities on because I've been to a lot more systems here. I've been to 22 but didn't buy or sell commodities at every single one of them. Although having said that, it doesn't sound right. 
I know I've been to quite a few systems where there was nothing there, so I couldn't do anything, but I'm sure I'd traded at more than just 10. Anyway, so my trading profit is um, as near as damn it, 9.7 million. Commodities traded is uh, 9,835. My average profit is uh, fast approaching 50,000 credits, which is not bad for an average. And my highest single transaction is finally into six figures, 115,056. Um, so we go back up to the top again. So we see that my current assets are 9.175 million. It's still saying that I've spent nothing on ships, although you may have noticed by now I'm in an ASP. So, yeah, I've spent plenty of credits on ships. Um, close to 7 million in uh, outfittings. Uh, 7,480 in repairs. Most of that coming from the last, uh, or from that battle I was in. Nearly 46,000 spent on fuel and 9,734 spent on munitions. 9,000 of that came from when I had my Type 6 and I bought a uh, missile launcher for it. But um, no insurance claims yet, so that's something to be uh, glad about anyway. So, um... As I'll also point out, I've already done a video earlier today, uh, one of my retro game review videos, and for some reason the uh, video and audio were massively out of sync, so if that happens on this one, consider yourself forewarned. I mean, it's only ever happened twice on any of my videos, and I've done, well, I think getting on for 200, so... I'm not doing too badly. The only reason I can think of for it happening is that uh, my computer had been left on for over two days. So I did reset it prior to uh, starting this up. Anyway, let's light your hag. So this is how, how the ship looks. Uh, it didn't look like this when I was fighting uh, against the uh, Viper Pirate. And what struck me was that uh, my weapon loadout was crap because I was taking an age to, to try and do anything to it really. So I changed my weapon slightly. I did have four gimbaled class 1 burst lasers and two gimbaled class 2 multi cannons. So I've now changed it a little bit. The burst lasers have been replaced with pulse lasers. Two, they're all gimbaled. All of my weapons are gimbaled. Um, but uh, two class 1 pulse lasers, two class 2 pulse lasers. And I'm trying uh, the cannons rather than the multi-cannons. Um, especially now that you can get them gimbaled. It would be interesting to see um, if that helps much. And they are class 1s because, well, I can afford class 2s, but it won't leave me with very much to get any, uh, uh, what do you call it, cargo. Uh, here's how uh, the internals uh, work out. Shock horror is still the lightweight alloy. If, if the prices are still as I thought they were, yes they are. It's 16.7 million for a military grade composite. And it will add 42 tonnes to my fucking ship. <laughs> so it sends my uh, jump range down by more than one light year. Mm. Yeah, I won't be in any hurry to uh, get that, I think. But uh, most other things have been upgraded in some way or other. Power plant is now a D5, thrusters is a D5, frame shift drives is a C5, but I did that just before starting this video. The power distributor is the only A grade I've got, that's the top one, the A4. Uh, fuel tank's still the same as it was. 
Um, I uh, well doubled the capacity for this cargo up to 64. Shield generator is D5. There has been a change to the ASP. It doesn't have anything like the cargo capacity it did in Beta 3. So although I've got the maximums for well these four slots here, but I haven't been to the uh, place to get the maximum for this one, so I, I could have another two tons. But at the moment, 94 is okay. This will eventually be changed for a uh, uh, advanced uh, discovery scanner. This one will eventually be changed to a uh, detailed surface scanner, but I'm only going to do that when I'm ready to piss off out of this area and make my way to um, lathe and what have you. That's where I eventually plan to go once I've got this ship up to scratch. Uh, sensors and life support are uh, still at E because I haven't been to a system yet where I can upgrade them but I will be doing that soon especially sensors um, must admit that uh, one of the changes in Gamma is that uh, the sensor upgrade is now a lot more important the, uh, the E rated sensors really aren't that great you, you lose a lock on uh, uh, your target by well once it's only about 3.7 kilometers away so it would still be in the range of some weapons but you can't target it so that's uh, yeah that's a tough one um, now anyway as I was saying the uh, ASP has been changed a bit it doesn't have the cargo capacity but on the plus side that means that uh, your uh, class 5 um, shield generator is now enough to uh, give you decent shielding the class 5 will shield a maximum of 560 uh, tons of mass now I'm at 509.9 .9, so fuck it 510 so I've still got another 50 tons of mass to play with. So I think I should get away with, um, uh, you know, sticking with uh, the class five shield. I don't think I'll need to uh, go to the expense of a class six, and that would also mean that my cargo pack capacity is reduced by 32. So with only 62 tons of uh, cargo, then and then it would still have more taken off, another six ta to be taken off as well when I get my scanners it would mean that uh, I wouldn't be able to carry anything like the sort of cargo that ideally I would want to and okay in the past I had an ASP that was carrying I think it was 155 tons which was pretty good but 94 is you know a decent amount so I'm not complaining about that for once. Right, so that's the ship and my stats. Let's buy some cargo. Um, right, where am I? It's not Tantalus then, so it's uh, superconductors again. I've got enough to uh, fill her up. does mean that I now can't afford me um, uh, insurance but I've done plenty of runs where I haven't been able to afford the insurance so I'm becoming a bit flippant about it Ualuskus is uh, the destination let's go to the surface and get ready to head off Now the uh, profit margins on my uh, trade route here with these commodities have been fluctuating a hell of a lot 
I'm assuming it's because a lot more people have been coming to this system after seeing my last video and therefore it's been affecting the prices but it's now well not gone quite uh, entirely back to how it was but it's improved so let's get out of here I do believe that's an orca up ahead yep Oh, you'll also notice there are a lot of green uh, ships around here. I've been doing this route so many times that I'm now on friendly terms with this station and indeed the station at New Aluskas. In fact, I was on friendly terms with them far uh, sooner than I was uh, with this uh, station. Let's go. Drive charging. So what I plan to do is to upgrade everything to either the best or near as, as the best. And then get myself a bit of uh, extra cash on top and then I'm probably going to leave this area for good <laughs> although it's been pretty good to me in terms of you know money making I am fucking sick of the sight of this area On uh, my YouTube channel, as well as uh, my Elite Dangerous videos, and before that I was doing videos of me playing other games, then came my retro uh, game review uh, channel, oh and my uh, retro computer music channel as well, but there's also a channel that I haven't used very much. Uh, PC game reviews. I guess the real the reason why I haven't used it very much is because I don't play a huge number of PC games. I tend to stick to one and play it to death and then move on to another one. I've got a ridiculous number of games on Steam that I've never even booted up, let alone played. Uh, but um, I will be doing some reviews of modern PC games on there. Elite Dangerous will be one. Dragon Age Inquisition will be another. One of them will get an absolutely glowing review. One white. See if you can guess which one will. For the first time in quite a while, I actually uh, took a look at the uh, Elite Dangerous forums. And I'm rather pleased to see that there is growing uh, a growing number of people voicing concerns and showing just how far from pleased they are with the way frontier developments are going about uh, basically removing huge parts of uh, the game just so they can rush it out in, uh, on the release date that they gave and that uh, 
while also complaining about the attitude that uh, Frontier Developments have been showing, which lately has been nothing short of a fucking joke. And I'm pretty sure that uh, if they are going to ever do another Elite game, it will not get anything like the response this one had because more people will have caught on to uh, the whole attitude that uh, Frontier Developments are taking and now their word is pretty much worthless because they break promises well, countless times anyway another six figure uh, profit there, 115,056 I believe is exactly the same as my highest and that's why it is so we're up to 821,961 so time to do the return trip now what I am going to do for this one Let's check the galaxy map because then I'll know for sure. Uh, yeah, so there's sh Shovel, as I keep calling it, which is where I usually go. But for this one, I'm going to go to uh, Bravo Delta plus 24 degrees 1451. And the reason for that is that this place is a high tech place and they should have sensor and life support upgrades now the sensor upgrade is quite handy the life support one isn't quite so important but if I get say a D then at least it will lower the mass and um, help my drive range so that's what I plan for this one yeah, I did get it. My memory is fucking useless. Alright, let's go. Now, I've been to this system a few times before, so... I should remember the docking station. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I certainly know it when I see it though. But I haven't been here anywhere near enough times to be on uh, friendly terms, so that's one place where yeah, where everything will be in orange again. No greens around there. I do wish the ASP had a uh, slightly louder engine noise. I like the engine sound of the ASP, but uh, it is very quiet a lot of the time. And when you compare that to the engine sound of, say, the uh, Imperial Clipper, which I thought sounded fucking brilliant, but uh, yeah, this is a decent ship, but. Just wish it was a bit noisier. In fact, the Asp really is a better ship than the Imperial Clipper. It's not as limited as the uh, Clipper is. And... Well, it can carry a higher number of weapons. But obviously... They're not all going to be great. There it is, Marshburn Terminal. Well, 
although the Imperial Clipper can carry uh, two large hardpoint uh, weapons as well as the two mediums, because of uh, where they're positioned, you pretty much have to have either gimbaled or turreted weapons, in fact really turreted, even gimbaled or somewhat limited on it. And then you also take into account the size because it's uh, one that uses a large pad. Uh, you're not going to be able to land at uh, outposts. So once you've got ships of that size, you've then pretty much got to buy a second ship so that uh, you can switch to that one when you're heading to um, outposts. No stutter in gamma, huh? Oh, great. Got to fly almost right the way around the fucking thing. Oh, let's get the docking request anyway. Now, last time I was here, um, they paid slightly more for uh, Tantalus than uh, Shuval does, but that was a while ago. And when they were selling uh, the uh, superconductors, they were selling them at the same price that Shubal does. So it was uh, alright for the trade route. But it's a much further distance, so it wasn't alright for fuel. And at that time I still had the E uh, grade um, train shift drive so okay this time it's only 480 because I've now got the C when I had the E it was um, uh, it was over a grand so okay so it is still slightly more uh, profit 89,864 for that one so up to 911,000 Let's go and see what uh, what they have in the outfitting. No, my luck, they'll now have fuck all. Uh, right, sensors, that's the main one. C5... Oh shit... C5 only has the same mass. If they had a D5, I would be much happier. B5, the mass is enormous, 32 tons. So, okay, I'll take the C. C gives me an optimal range of 6k. That'll do. I don't get an awful lot back from selling me old ones, but it's a bit anyway, so... Alright, our oh, life support. Ah, oh, fucking hell, they've only got the A. That doesn't help my uh, mass either. I don't really want to be spending 443,000 on A-grade life support. Oh, well, let's see if they've got any... Yes, they do. Right, I'll take that anyway. 
Right, so that's brought me max uh, cargo capacity up to 96. And that is the highest it can be. Um, before... Well, before I get shot of these bottom two for me scanners. Okay, well I can't do anything about uh, the internals then. What am I talking about? I did do so. I bought the improved sensors. Life support. I mean, is it really worth it? It will leave me with 300,000, so I won't be able to fill my cargo hold. And that's the convincing argument. No. So, commodities markets. Ninety six tons, so six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty two to buy them in. Now, before I set the course, I've changed the uh, sensors, didn't I? So, there we are. Move them back to priority four. Everything else is as it should be. to see what uh, those last couple of runs have done. There we go, I've broken the 50,000 uh, average profit mark. And after this run, I should also break the 10 million in uh, trading profit. So, there's a bit of a milestone. So, Back to Ualuskas then. Sounds like someone is having trouble landing on their landing pad. Someone I can't see. Oh, I don't know. There he is. Uh, it's a Type 9. It's always fucking Type 9s. got it uh, landed. Fucking is, I don't believe it. You cunting thing. Right, let's uh get away from here anyway. So how fucking far have I got to travel before it is no longer obscured? A fucking long way, I think. Good job I'm not planning on making this a regular trip. Of course it would help if I could actually reach sea at a decent time. It's taking uh, quite a while. Always does when you uh, leave a docking station and go straight to super cruise. I'll 
seeing about the sensor there and hearing it uh, reminded me. I'm trying to find out if it's possible to be... Oh, you fucking... No! I'm not submitting to this one. Trying to get out of here, not fucking... because it's now completely clear. There we go. Anyway, yes, I'm trying to find out if you can be rammed in uh, Super Cruise mode. Not because I want to, I just want to make sure that I'm not going to be hit by some fucking ship. So if anyone knows the answer to that, uh, stick it in the uh, comments section. We finally got out of there. head this way and then now I can actually see uh, the distance Again, I've got to fly almost right right around the fucking thing. Shot it a bit. Oh. 
Yeah. Uh, having to do that uh, super cruise bit uh, sent the old um, fuel price up. So 1,224 per tonne again, that means this should be yeah, 117,504, my new highest uh, profit uh, margin. 859,251 from that. We'll total rather after that. So let's fill her up with tantalum. This place actually does have a fair few upgrades available if you have a smaller ship. If you've got up to a Cobra, then you know, this place does have some fairly alright stuff. Right, let's just uh, check to see if I have indeed... Uh, Okay, no, uh, trading profit still 9.9 .9 million. In fact, it hasn't updated it. It's uh, still showing my uh, highest uh, single transaction is 115,000, which is not the case. I've beaten that by just over 2,000. Anyway, we set course. Let's go. Surely I've beaten that by 2,448 credits. take him out when he's outside the uh outside the uh, no fire zone. Oh, fuck off. Six means his hull and his shields are going to be shit. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God, I'm all firing at me. Wow, these fucking gimbal pulse lasers are useless. I'm being fired at from behind. and I've now got uh, enemies all over the place. Under attack. Drive so he was wanted. I'm not showing as having a wanted status, but they're all attacking me. soon find out if uh, that's done my reputation at that station. When I go back there, I was going to make this my last one, or this last uh, run on this video, but now I want to see if I'll uh, be alright when I go back. So, there's one more trip to come on this video. I can only assume he used a chaff launcher or something because for a while my gimbal pulse lasers were fucking useless. Hang on, I'll 
distance. Yeah, okay. So you need to shoot down more than two ships to get off mostly hard or go get, uh, get off harmless. All those fuckers had to do was scan him to find out that he was wanted. Instead, no, they just decided to come after me. Maybe what I should have had was uh, a um, kill warrant scanner. I might have actually got some credits for uh, that uh, kill. So I got fuck all for it. thousand six hundred and sixty credit bounty. Ah, oh, so maybe I did get something for it then. I don't remember seeing it come up. Not fucking arguing though. going down every time I come back here. Still 86,688 uh, credit profit is still pretty good. So that means I should certainly pass the million mark when I uh, take these superconductors back to um, Ulaskas. Unless I buy another upgrade here. Let's see what they have. So the weapon loadout seemed alright, although I was only up against a uh, Type 6, which is a bit of a fucking pissant little thing. Well, okay, it's, it's a big in size, but I mean, this armour is like, it's made of fucking paper. Let's see if they got uh, C5 shields. Gonna be good way down here if they do. Oh, they do. I can't afford them now that I've bought me cargo. They have B5s as well. 1.7 million. And they have the Advanced Discovery Scanner as well. That's something else I'm certainly uh, keen on. Not right this second, but I want it. I'd like those. 5.1 million. Well, I've had 5.1 million in the bank balance, but, uh, yeah, not at the moment, I don't. 
Okay, well I can lower my thrusters. That's all I can do. Uh, C5, yeah, they're out of price range because of uh, the cargo I'm carrying. That means everything that C5 will be. I don't want to get anything less than C's. Okay, nothing here. Let's uh, get ready to piss off again. Let's just make sure that my reputation everywhere is all right. So it usually is. It's just a case of uh, yeah, they don't they don't seem to like you uh, firing around their station. So even though you're on friendly terms and uh, what have you, they just don't like you uh, shooting anybody even when they are wanted criminals. Right. Well, destination's locked. Here we go. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Well, there's a big fucker coming in. Type 9. I think I may need to uh, get out of the way of this gun. Serenity sounds like a woman's name. She should be mistress. Oh fuck it, there was another one. He's clean and all. I wouldn't mind uh, encountering a uh, Type 9 that's wanted. actually get out of here now. Here we go. See what welcome awaits me at uh, U Alaska's this time. That uh, Type Nine stayed in my uh, range. That's seven and a half uh, kilometers. Even though my optimum range is six, I'll take that. That'll come in handy in. Uh, combat situations, especially if uh, there are any more conflict zones like there used to be around Iran in. Actually, I say used to be. It could still be there for all I know. There's something else. If uh, if uh, any of you know the, uh, the conflict zones around Iran in and the uh, distress signal zone are still there, uh, let us know in the uh, comments section. Yeah, it's still friendly with the United U Alaska Green Party. And they are showing us green here again, so yeah, all is fine and dandy.
I'm pretty sure the next A grade uh, part I'll get will be the frame shift drive. I need that range. Especially if I plan on getting out of here. In order to get to lathe, I'm going to need uh, a decent jump range. Is green, so all is well. And the friendly greeting. Ah, oh, fuck, and then they give me landing pad 20. That one is right at the front again. So, uh, 170,504 profit again, and that means we're back over a million. Uh, right, well, I mentioned earlier that uh, this uh, station has uh, upgrades if you have a smaller ship. I'll just quickly show you they do have them. Of course, now that I've said all that, probably going to run out of everything. So, uh, there you go, so... I've got the armour, power plants, thrusters, frame shift drives. Uh, I think... Yeah, see, A3, B3, A2, so, although they have them, you, it's for, like, you know, Cobras and smaller, you can't uh, do much with a larger ship here. Could also, I could have got me a uh, better shield here if I uh, I've got the detailed surface scanner and that as well here. But yeah, all of their uh, shield generators are again maximum class three, so not much good to me. Anyway, I think that's uh, enough for this one. It had a little bit of everything. A uh, slight variation in uh, destinations. Decent profit margins everywhere. Uh, taking a bounty on a ship. So you actually got to see me at combat. Which is never a good thing, but there you go. Uh, past 50,000 uh, average profit margin, past 10 million in trading profit, and uh, eight and a half thousand in uh, bounties profits, and over nine and 9.5 million in current assets. So things are coming along pretty well. 
Oh yeah, my profits for exploration went up as well because I sold those last two that uh, had disappeared for so long. And one million sixty-six thousand seven hundred uh, credits in the balance. So I think things are going quite nicely. Although whether or not they will continue to do that is well anyone's guess. But that uh, yeah, I think that definitely brings this uh, this fucking vid to an end. <laughs> so there you go. That's uh, Commander Lukosa signing off, as I said.